The Honorable Mr. Arshad Rashid, Chairman of Kadin, Mrs. Sinta Kamdani, Chair of B20 Indonesia, Professor Mardiasmo, President of IAI, distinguished speakers, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and good afternoon to all of you. As the Chair of B20 Indonesia Integrity and Compliance Task Force, it is my great honor to welcome distinguished speakers and participants from all over the world who have joined this webinar on Global Baseline for Business and Investor, jointly organized by the Institute of Indonesia Charter Accountants, or IAI, the International Federation of Accountants, or IFAC, and International Sustainability Standard Boards, ISSB. It is the second side event under the B20 Integrity and Compliance Task Force, and it intended to mainly discuss recently published draft of the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, Sustainability Disclosure Standard, and get feedback and responses from a number of stakeholders in Indonesia. Topic of sustainability in business was discussed as early as in the 1960s, whereby organizations in Europe and in the United States started to recognize that their roles in society go above and beyond profit maximization. In 1989, principles for environmental reporting guidelines were issued. At the moment, the scope of sustainability work is wider, not only raising awareness on the environmental, social, and governance matters, but also addressing access to new partnerships, enlightening conversations, and maintaining long-term profitability for businesses. Throughout our engagement in the Integrity and Compliance Task Force, we have noticed that sustainability practices and reporting are becoming increasingly necessary for businesses due to evolving stakeholders' demand globally. With the changing global landscape backed by regulatory demands, shareholders' expectation, and changing preferences among consumers, businesses gradually understand the importance of non-financial disclosures. Simply making a claim that a business is operating based on sustainable conducts is by itself not sufficient. Companies need to provide tangible and credible demonstrations of their sustainability agenda. In addition, different sustainability frameworks that currently exist actually make apple to apple comparison difficult and potentially even provide barriers during the transition to a more sustainable economy. Therefore, proper guidelines for sustainability reporting is indeed essential to ensure high quality and consistency of the information provided. To navigate challenges related to sustainability issues going forward, a globally accepted, comparable, and trusted reporting standards would be needed. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the B20 Integrity and Compliance Task Force duly recognizes that adoption of sustainability reporting standard is a stepping stone and a driver for companies to elevate their commitment on sustainability to the next level. Any companies trying to win in a globally competitive market would not be able to achieve their objectives by merely focusing on financial outcomes. We therefore support the adoption of a consistent and comprehensive global sustainability reporting standard. We believe that the work done to date, including the work led by ISSB, demonstrates a critical step in reaching a unified approach on sustainability reporting. To ensure alignment, we also put sustainability agenda, specifically sustainable governance, as our top priority in the B20 Indonesia Integrity and Compliance Task Force policy recommendations. Recommendations related to sustainability is discussed under two policy actions intended to integrate and standardize sustainable monitoring initiatives and disclosure. The first policy action 
is about improvement on sustainable governance measures, whereas the second policy actions is related to sustainable governance compliance disclosures and monitoring optimizations. In addition, we are also pleased to learn about the recent release of two exposure drafts of IFRS sustainability disclosure standards. The publication of general requirements for disclosure of sustainability related financial information and climate related disclosure standards should be welcomed by many stakeholders who will then engage with the relevant entities to come up with a standard that is robust without creating a necessary burden to all parties involved. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Forstat events related to this topic have been planned together with IAI and IFAC to boost awareness on this topic to a greater audience. I believe many of you attended the first site event last April with the theme sustainability roundtable discussion. That event was attended by around 3,667 participants from 30 countries and scored more than 2,600 views on the YouTube channel till today. The next site event, B20 IAI Strategic Leader Forum, Sustainability Governance as the Foundations of Value Creation will be held online on the 25th of August. This high-level meeting will also engage the Energy, Sustainability and Climate Task Force of B20 Indonesia. The final event, Sustainability Governance Summit 2022, is planned to be held on October 10 this year to address sustainability governance as enablers to the achievement of long-term value creation. This is part of our two-day main event on B20 Indonesia to be held in Bandung, Indonesia. We look forward to your participation as well. The goal of our policy paper, as well as the four set events, is to encourage the public at large, including government, private sector, and civil societies at large, to agree on the need to build and promote a harmonized international reporting framework on sustainability, which will be used as a reliable source to share progress on the company's sustainability commitment. Going forward, sustainability reporting will shift from voluntary to mandatory. Under that context, companies with mature sustainability program will likely be more well positioned to meet the evolving demands of regulators and stakeholders. These efforts are pretty much in line with our intent to create the legacy of B20 Indonesia. In closing, I would like to convey my deepest gratitude to IFAC and IAI, who have contributed actively as a thought partner in structuring our policy recommendations and also in sharpening our thinking. In addition, this event will not be impactful without the presence and participations of the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, KADIN, IFRS, ISSB, Global Reporting Initiatives or GRI, the Indonesian Ministry of State and Enterprises, and the Indonesian Bank Association. Finally, I also would like to thank all of the committee members and the organizers that have worked really hard to ensure that this event is running smoothly. Enjoy the rest of the webinar and look forward to your participation in the next set events of B20 Indonesia.